number one tag team in all of Midwest Pro Wrestling shows up. Get your bets on the table now before it's too late. The match was made at Rampage. A manager was physically assaulted. The tag team champions agreed to defend their titles tonight against two of the best singles athletes that exist in Southland Championship Wrestling. They didn't come out the first time. They better come out now or they'll lose those titles. The first and only SCW Tag Team Champions ever are on their way to the ring right now. If you wanted attention, you got it now. Hogan and Rocky to go to war with Marco Anthony and Hunter Payne. This could be a huge car wreck. It's mayhem. Well, this is it. The tag team title match that was made. If it's not Marche Rocket and Sean Mulligan. A great pair of individual stars, but can they work together to defeat Marco and Hunter? And look at this matchup. We're going to start it with Mulligan and Marco Anthony, potentially. The Rocket says he wants in first. One tag team win by Mulligan and Rocket against the Rulers of Wrestling set this match up, along with the fact that. Lead paint, retain their titles against Patriots of Hope. And after the match, after a beatdown, Rocket and Mulligan made the save, went after and tried to kidnap Bobby the Bot Blues to coerce Elite Payne to agree to this tag team title match. One M80 later to Bobby the Bot Blues. And now Elite Payne are looking for revenge. So much ability, so much intelligence, but integrity is in question. Very experienced tag team. And Lutza finally official here is not getting much love from these fans. They are making mention that they want to finally be chopped down a size first. Bob Blue said Marche all day Rocket will be on his back all day taking a beat down all night long. They got the attention of Bobby the Bob Blues and Elite Payne. Now remember the Bully Alliance with Ian 12 Gager, they essentially made an alliance Each other's backs just in case the N12 Gagers actually helped you leave pain, retain the tag titles on the past. A lot of bad news ahead for Marche Rocket and Sean Mulligan if they fall into the plans and the laps of the lead pain in this tag team match. Marche with the side headlock on Marco Anthony for the moment. A common enemy, Marche and Mulligan. But is it the right plan? Drop down and a shoulder tackle by Marche Rockin in the early going as Marco tries to roll to the outside. Slow start for Elite Payne in this tag team title match. But there's a lot of big egos on that team. You can have all the nicknames in the world for Marche Rockin and Sean Mulligan. But the truth is, the experience being together for over 10 years versus Rocket and Mulligan, who might have one tag team victory in their entire careers in Southland Championship Wrestling. You can't win the tag titles overnight. Can they get along? You know, when Marco Anthony and Hunter Payne 
said that this challenge was laughable. They might be right. They said that they were going to kick the hornet's nest and they were fired up and their bodies would be left laying. By the time this night is over, they might even be battered and stretchered out of here by night's end. One of the biggest challenges ever for Elite Pain thus far as tag team champions. They've been tag champs since May 2017. And here's the irony of it all. It was Sean Mulligan who helped them win the tag titles in the first place. They originally made the offering to Mulligan to join their alliance. And then they made a choice. They said, we don't need you. We're going to use Ian 12 Gator instead because he's the champion. Now that got on the last nerves of Mulligan, and now Mulligan wants revenge. Middle of the Maestro Cradle, Marco barely kicked out. Arm drag, and the control right here is by Mulligan on Marco Anthony. No love lost between these two. Can Bobby the Bod Blues survive a hangover? They said this would be one title shot and one title shot only, so it's a must-win situation for Mulligan and Rocket here. Very dominant, very effective in the singles ranks, but in the tag team ranks, can they do as well? Snap suplex by Mulligan to Marco. Hunter Payne yet to enter this match legally for his team. Down and one on the way. Side of the draw and the collarbone of Marco Anthony. A lot of hype for this match as Marco takes the fall over the top to the floor. Watch out, here's Hunter Payne as he crashes to the outside. Marche Rocket has had clashes with Hunter Payne and saw playing the floor. And so is Mulligan for that matter. Mulligan's right behind him. Say hi to Elmo and Cookie Monster for me while you're out there. Marche cheering on his partner with a well-timed eye gouge for both the champions. Mulligan can't get back in the ring. Hunter Payne held his right foot down. And Marco attacks with a guillotine. Resourcefulness of the tag team champions. And Marco with a very well calculated elbow drop on the inside thigh on the right leg of Mulligan two times already. Last month at Rampage, Elite Pain dominated. And not only dominated, I think they literally destroyed in a violent fashion the Patriots of Hope. Bain X was the only one to come out of that alive, in my estimation. He participated in a preview bout earlier. I don't know what Paradox's condition is, but he came out to help the Senate earlier. Double team! drop for Mulligan, and Marche is concerned. His partner is suffering right here at the hands of the tag team champions, and Hunter Payne is fresh. The monster has awoken. This is terrible news for Mulligan. A terrible situation. Boy slam with these on a man well over 220 pounds. Devastating takedown by this bully of the ring, Hunter Payne, Southland's bully. The Bully Alliance was formulated for a reason, and that was total domination of the championship scene. And no matter what I might say, as a temporary active general manager, as that swinging neck break almost led to the demise of Mulligan, or what SCW President Doug Keese might throw their way. Mulligan being blatantly 
choked in the corner at the hands of Hunter Payne. Look how huge his arms are. This guy's massive. Devastating beast in the ring, and now Marco is starting to climb the ropes. Double axe handle. Right onto the lat muscle on the left hand side as he hooks the outside leg for a two count. Marche is concerned. Marco continuing to attack. Mulligan from head to toe. Marche and Mulligan ditch their aspirations at SCWWE Championship Gold to try to win the tag titles together. And now Bobby the Bob Blair is doing additional damage on the outside of the ring on the near side. The official did not see the outside interference. Failure is not an option like we said for Mulligan and Rocket. They might have to wait forever to get another title shot. There's just so many tag teams in this hot division of Southland Championship Wrestling. And like I mentioned, in an earlier tag team bout, you have good teams, you have great teams, and then you have the elite team. And this is the team to beat. Elite check on the way. Countered. Mulligan picks up Arkham. There's the spine buster. That's an opening right there for Mulligan to make the tag to all day Marche Rock, former Impact Wrestling Superstar. A long rivalry put to the side by Mulligan to Rocket. The mutual respect. Are they on the same page? It's going full circle. Can Mulligan make the tag? There it is! Marche against Hunter. Close eye. He could knock him down. There's another one. Hunter paints, there's a hole through Marche, swing and a miss, up in the air, there's the inverted atomic drop, we could see a power slam at any moment, he's going to go for it, there he is, 300 pound power slam, up in the air, the leg drop, new tag champions, oh so close, Hunter's too fresh, there's no way you're going to win the tag titles off of the leg drop like that. We are seeing right here, Bobby the Bod Blues on the ring apron. Marche preparing the climb. Marco sees an opening. Marche crowned him on the top of the head. Oh, but Hunter rushed to his feet and attacked Marche. Blues will not get down. He needs to be reprimanded. He needs to be sent to the back. Hunter's on the top. Superplex. This could be deadly. Watch out. Oh, my goodness. 550 plus pounds. Crushed on the mat at the same time. How these two men are still able to compete after taking a fall like that is unbelievable. Hunter could have went for the pinfall right there. But he wants to inflict more damage. And now all of that momentum is gone. And Elite Pin are back in full control of this. Raunchy, devastating. A bride by Lee Payne. Marco punting the rib cage of Marche Rock and pounding him down again. And again, he just continues to physically dissect and abuse Marche's back. to be disqualified in this one. Marco climbs to the near side to the second rope as he measures Marche. Nice super kick. That stuns Marco. There's a DDT and Marco's been laid out. He might not even have the tag mulligan. Oh, so close to 
If Hunter Payne didn't step in, we might have had new champions. Man, we got a lot of jaw jacking and trash talking going on in this ring right now. Marche crawling ever so closer to Mulligan, but Marco Crown Mulligan in there. Well, that's only enraged the Irishman. And Hunter Payne, they didn't make a tag. Come on. out of these four is doing additional damage. Butterfly suplex with these. How does he lift the man like Marche Rocket that easily? I will never know. Mulligan reached in to grab the ankle of Hunter Payne and now Hunter Payne slaps the taste out of Mulligan's mouth. He's going to just wash it away with some of his favorite beverage. One week after St. Patrick's Day, Mulligan's not here to celebrate. It's all business tonight. There's a drop kick. Hunter Payne got knocked off of his feet. Both men are down. Who can make the tag? Chase head right into the canvas. That can cause scratches, lacerations, blood, or more. And Hunter Payne says it's time for another suplex. Marche laying on his feet. There's a neck breaker. Marche again has put down Hunter Payne. The challengers. Somebody's got to break these men up. 
paid out of here. Nothing was settled there in this tag team title match at all. Screamers are flying, but I don't call it disqualification win by Marche and Mulligan a huge reason to celebrate because they did not get the win that they had wanted their way by pinfall or submission. So they will have to wait for another opportunity, even if it never happens. But you have to assume SCW President Doug Peace will make that a reality. Mulligan does not walk out of Chabance with the tag team titles.